Robert Sow, founder of the world's second largest contract chip maker, United Microelectronics Corp, UMC, announced on September 1st that he will be donating $32.79 million to train a 3.3 million strong militia in support of Taiwan's defense efforts against China. Sao is one of Taiwan's richest entrepreneurs, with an estimated wealth of 16.3 billion US dollars. Earlier in August, Sao had also pledged to donate $137.3 million to help enhance the island's defenses following the launch of military drills by China around the island in response to a visit by US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. While money is needed to prepare for a potential conflict, there's more to this. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the commitment of Taiwan's tech billionaire to help in defense against China shows a critical aspect. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Addressing the media, Sao said that he had renounced his Singaporean citizenship, which he had secured in 2011, and was so excited to have his Taiwan citizenship restored. Urging Taiwanese to resist China's belligerence, Sao said, I have returned to Taiwan and I will die in Taiwan. Sao warned it would be an intentional slaughter and vicious war crime and crime against humanity if China were to use force against Taiwan. Sao was once a major supporter of unification with China. He actively advocated for the unification of China and Taiwan through peaceful means. Sao stepped down as UMC chairman in 2006. In 2011, he even renounced his Taiwanese citizenship to protest against a government-led crackdown against his company for investing in a Chinese business project in 2011. Over the past few years, Sao began to voice his opposition to Beijing's aggression. Sao, whose two sons hold Taiwan citizenship, said earlier this year that one of them has completed compulsory military training and the other will be trained during his summer break. The tycoon said his two sons would fight the People's Liberation Army PLA, if China did invade Taiwan. The assertion by Sao indicates something very important, and we need to see it through the context of the situation in Afghanistan and Ukraine. U.S. intelligence officials were questioned in May about why they misjudged the durability of governments in both Afghanistan and Ukraine and whether they need to reform how intelligence agencies assess a foreign military's will to fight. What we missed was the will to fight of the Ukrainians, and we also missed that in Afghanistan," said Senator Angus King, an independent from Maine, at a hearing of the Senate Armed Services Committee. He added, I realize will to fight is a lot harder to assess than number of tanks or volume of ammunition or something, but I hope the intelligence community is doing some soul-searching about how to better get a handle on that question. This aspect, the will to fight, is what we're witnessing in Taiwan, and this is one of the most critical conditions for success. As seen from the war in Ukraine, China must be really worried. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.